everyone, Yensid Organist here, and welcome to another episode of Orglecraft. I hope you guys are having a great day today. In the last episode, we got the librarian portion of our villager trading hall all populated, and I've been I've been doing a little bit of work off camera to just kind of clean this area up. Um, I don't remember exactly what I had done in the episode, but I went around and I got all of the shulker boxes here for the storage um, recessed. I changed the ladder to a little staircase up here because I like that better than having to climb a ladder. Um, and then I finished off the tops of these, basically followed the pattern that I was using down below and recreated that up here, had some iron bars, uh, basically as, you know, as though this is being suspended from the ceiling. And I'm not completely done here. I want to do a little bit more with the lighting, but we might get to that a little bit later in this episode. The other thing that I have been doing is I have been going around and I have been been leveling up all of our villagers and every single one of them even though these guys don't want to turn around um they are all now masters now i had a little bit of a tragedy strike over here i was trading with a villager and I had too much in my inventory, so some of my items went in there. So I was trying to figure out the best way to get into it, so I threw an Ender Pearl. Of course, you know, when I when I want to spawn an Endermite, I can't get it to go. This of course this time, of course, it spawned, came in, and killed the villager. So we lost one. It wasn't a great loss. He didn't have the greatest trade in the world. So um yeah, but we do need to add one more librarian villager when we Again, work with villagers, but that'll be sometime in a few episodes. It looks like it's nighttime, so I'm going to go sleep real quick. The other thing that I have been doing, as far as our villagers are concerned, is I have been um, <laughs> printing emeralds. So most of these villagers have an ink trade, and so I have been AFKing at my ink farm. And this is, I, I've already been doing my trading. Um, they, they won't unlock just yet. But most of them have an ink trade, and a number of them have an ink trade for one emerald. So I have been collecting emeralds, as you can see. Um, almost three and a half stacks of emerald blocks, plus a few extras. So that has been very worthwhile. And it's also been kind of relieving, because I was thinking about like what I was going to do to get emeralds from villagers. And I was trying to decide if I wanted farmers, or what else I was going to use to be able to get emeralds emeralds in large quantities, well, ink is definitely the way to go, as you can see. The other thing I have done is I have named all of them so that we don't have to worry if any of them were to get um, zombified, which I'm pretty sure we're spawn-proof in here right now, so I don't think we have to worry about that. But just in case, I've been naming them. So here we have Oliver, Lewis, Ichabod, Stuart, Amadeus, Pierre, Simon, Elton, Flynn, Ryder, Bartholomew, Faust, there's a reason I did those two in that order, by the way, see if you catch the reference, uh, not those two, the one from downstairs and the first one upstairs, Pemberton, Philip, uh, Franz, Darren, and Ulysses. Most of them are named in accordance with um, what they trade. So, like, Ulysses is my unbreaking villager. We got an anvil up here, and I filled in some stone brick in places where it had just been all black wall before, and I think it, I think it looks much better with that. So, yeah, so that is what we have been... That's what I've been working on between episodes here. So, um... I had a stream on Wednesday, and we did a little work over in the village, which um, we're going to actually, we're going to go back over to in a little bit. Um, but uh, at the end of the stream, I was not sure what I wanted to do for this episode. I had a couple ideas, but I asked for suggestions from the viewers, and one of my regulars, Maro Dim, suggested that we spend some time this episode just kind of doing some um, aesthetic work, doing some cleaning up. I missed the entrance. And and I think I thought that was a great idea. So that's what we're going to do today. We're just going to have a fairly chill episode. 
All right, there we go. Made it in. And I, I've been trying to clean up. I have shulker boxes everywhere. So I've been trying to get that cleaned up. And I want to do a little bit at the village. I want to I want to get the uh, stations, our monorail stations, having paths down so that it's easier to get in and out. We're going to move the quick entrance to the base up here. And we'll just do that and go get those quartz. Yeah, so I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to get all of the... Um, project shulker boxes and chests that are lying around the base cleaned up so as you can see we have a couple of shulker boxes in here some of which have items i still need for this but some of which i don't um if we kind of go back through the base here like this chest is done i can get that cleaned up um i still have items in these barrels down in here that really don't need to be in here. So let me let me do a little bit of cleaning and then I will bring you guys back in just a minute. It is so cathartic to be able to clean up around the base. And I just saw one thing I needed to fix real quick. Now that I have moved my quick entry point into the base, we can close that off. But yeah, got all of these shulker boxes done. Took away my little AFK when I was growing the chorus fruit. These are still materials that I am using in this area. So I kept I kept these out here. But we got this chest cleaned up. Got everything else emptied out. So we are making progress here. So now what I would like to do is I would like to... Hmm, that may be a problem. I don't think I have any more stone up here. Uh, I might have some in one of these boxes. Yeah, there we go. So anyway, what I would like to do is I'd like to bring our minecart into the next section of the base. So let's just go ahead and do that really quick. I should be able to curve around there. And then I think... I think, um, I don't know how far, I guess I'll bring it to here, maybe? Yeah, let's go right here. So let's break these. And then we'll need to dip down into the floor. So let's do that. Alright, and then I'll need to take those out so that we can put that in there powered rail and then we'll come out and then we're gonna go up this way so we'll take that out and I don't know if I can get that in there ah there we go perfect and then we will probably need to have a powered rail under one of these so let's take this out and guaranteed now I can't get back up <laughs> there we go okay so that's going to go there. So we'll take that out. Probably have to take that out as well. And do I have a redstone torch? I, oh, yes, there it is. Oops, I don't need two of those. I just need one. But let's see here. We need... And I suspect... All right. Let's grab those back. I think the redstone torch will need to go there. Eh, wrong buttons. Yeah, redstone torch will go there, and then we'll put that up there, and there, and then we can have powered rails to propel us along to the next section. Excellent. Okay. Good. And then we'll need a button to power this. That can go right there. I don't like how that looks at all, so I think let's do a wooden button instead. And that way it will blend in with the floor. Yeah, that looks better. Much better, and that should be enough to power through that. Okay, good. The next thing that I want to do, I found when I was going through my chests, that I have a lot of um, 
unprocessed ores. So things that I have silk touched along the way. So I know I've got I've got a ton of coal that needs to be done. I've got some redstone that needs to be done. Gold has to be smelted, but I've got some lapis here. So let's go ahead and take care of these. Let me just grab them real quick. All right, I've gathered up all the ore that I have, several stacks of coal, several stacks of redstone, and a little bit of lapis. So let's go ahead and fortune all this up and we'll do this as time lapse. everyone hope you enjoyed the time lapse i think it is always so satisfying to see a mountain of ores being converted so here is what we've got we've got one and about two-thirds of a stack of blocks of redstone with a little bit of extra uh, about two-thirds of a stack of blocks of coal 19 lapis lazuli blocks so yeah pretty pretty good with what we got there so excellent i'm seeing all of these chests down here for the project and there was stone that i was looking for that one's empty so we're going to take that back but yeah this uh this needs to be cleaned up this is actually something that we are going to be working on a little bit later in the episode is i want to get this area finished around here I want to I want to get a wall built up and I want to get the entire place lit so that we don't have to worry about mobs because that is becoming quite annoying. But that's something we're going to take on just a little bit later. The next thing that I want to actually work on is our finishing off our monorail stations. I'm not sure why I have two carts here. Um, so let me go get some materials and then we're going to go head over to the village and we're going to build one together over in the village and then I'll get the other two stations finished from there. So I will see you in a minute. Welcome back to the village. I wanted to show you guys real quick the house that I made on stream this week with my daughter who left the shutters in the wrong position. But yes, this is the house we made. We made use of this space here behind the tree far farm. And it's not quite done. The outside is pretty much done, but we still need a little bit more and the interior definitely needs some work. But that is what we did. So we have a new house in the village and we're actually thinking about um, opening up a tunnel to go underneath the tree farm that would... Um, bring us back here and just kind of connect everything and yeah um just kind of just kind of tie everything together but that's a project for another day so this is where we're going to put our path up to the monorail station i moved the little composter set up over there looks a little bit better attached to the stables um and we were going to need to go right through this area so i've been thinking through what i want to do do for this and um over there um the dock that we have is a three wide path and i like the i like the the birch and the oak together but i think that's going to be too wide for this path up to the station so what i've decided to do is to go with oak slabs and we're basically just going to slab our way up to the top and I think what we're going to do is we're going to go every two and then we will go up a layer except I need that to be there. So I think that is going to work. So we would do oh um let's see. Maybe we need to go three at a time, because that way we can have a, a single layer. May... Wait, is that... 
Yeah, that's... I think that's what I want. Let's try that. So we're just gonna go like this and like this. Now the question is, will we be able to get high enough, fast enough, as we work our way over here? And I think the answer is no. I don't think we're gonna quite get there. No, we're not even close. Okay. Tear this down, start over again. Um, that's unfortunate, because I really wanted to have a, a gentle sloping ramp, but we I think it goes, it's just a little too far away here. Let's grab all of our planks and try this again. So, um, so maybe we will just do, oh, maybe we could do like, um, Uh, I'm not building this correctly, and I'm not articulating. So we could do like one and then two. So maybe that's what we want. And maybe that will get us high enough. Uh, maybe? I have a feeling we're still not going to make it. Mm, nope, still not going to make it. All right. Third time's the charm. So we'll just tear this down, and we will just go up every time. So I think we'll start like that, and then we'll work our way up. So we'll go there, and we'll go there. And it's still better than stairs, so which I really did not want for this. But hopefully this will get us up there. Yeah, this is going to work better. Alright. And I'm out because I've dropped all of my slabs down here. Let's grab those real quick. Yep, this is going to work. So we'll go there there and i think we need to go up one more yep there we go and i think we'll come out three like that uh yeah i think that'll work because then that's then it's symmetrical up here all right so now we're going to do some pillars to hold things up just bring this up here. There we go. And then we'll do one from here. There we go. I think that will be fine. And then let's put another one on the other side. So that will go there. I'm grab this one real quick. There we go. Now, I would like these to be fairly evenly spaced, so we're two there. How many do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Thirteen, if you count the first one that we started with. So that would be every three. If we go, let's just do this. Let's go there into you. One, two, and one, two. Yep, that'll work. Okay. So let's get those built up. And I do not have enough acacia. That's going to be a problem. Let's do that. I don't like that. I don't like that either. Um, all right, let me go grab some more acacia and then we will finish this off. All right, so I got this all worked up here and then we're just gonna go ahead and place the smooth stone slabs on top of these. And I think that will be good. 
yeah, and I, so I added the birch fence in here just to kind of rail everything off. Um, yeah, and I think that looks nice, and that brings us nicely up here. Now, the last thing that I want to do is I want to get these torches out of here. I think we should probably replace that with an oak button rather than a dark oak one. I don't think I have any way to replace that at the moment, so we'll have to get that in just a second. But let's go ahead and do lantern. Lantern. Actually, I think rather than put them right on the ends, I think let's put them there. So then let's get that back. I think I lost that. There we go. And then let's maybe... I wonder... Um... Yeah, we can hang from there, and there, and then right in the center, which I think is there. Yep. And then we can do lanterns there, and there. I don't need this crafting bench anymore. And then let's just have a few more lanterns on the way down. So let's place one... I don't know where to stick these. Um, well, let's check our light level. Let's see here. We are nine, eight, nine. Okay, so let's maybe not there. There we go. All right. So there, and then maybe we'll just do it at every pillar, and that way we don't have to worry about it at all. Yeah, I think that will be good. And then, <laughs> now that I now that I saw it, we'll just do two there, and that should take care of it. I do want to replace that button, and that is bothering me. So let's go see if I can find an oak plank. There we go. Got one. Yeah, I really like having the the minecart mechanics as as hidden as possible. I was going around the base and replacing the. Um, the buttons that were stone on the wood floor because I just didn't like how they looked. But I think that looks better. So, yeah. So there we go. We should be all lit up here, not having any problems. And now we can walk up here. And then the last thing we need to do is just bring our path blocks over. And now I need to move this because that's going to bother me. So let's do that. Let's do... Whoops. Let's do that. Dirt. Grass. Sea Lantern Carpet. And there we go. Excellent. All right. I need to build up these little pathways at all of the other minecart stations. So let me do that, and I will bring you guys back when that is done. Here is our Iron Farm Station. And here is our base station all done up in the various block palettes that we have used and i think these look really good and i'm really happy with how they turned out and now we have a way to get up to our stations so that project is all done the next thing I want to do is I want to deal with our nether portals in the latest update it's now possible to put portals on the roof of the nether without having to break bedrock and I think it would be much nicer for getting around if we had all of these portals on the roof of the nether and I need that for a project that's going to be coming up in a few weeks because I want to do a gold farm in the nether so let's get to work on that so the first part of this process I heard a zombie <laughs> The first part of this process is I need to take down the coordinates of all of my portals. So let's check this one here. 50 and negative 102. So I need to do that for all of my portals. Now I have seven portals that I use, but I'm only going to do six because we still need to be, have access to the lower portion of the nether. So once I do that, then I actually have to go around and break all of these portals and I need to basically completely take them down. So this is going to take me a little bit to go around and get all of that, but I will do that and bring you back when we are ready to go up to the roof. 
All right, so I have broken all of the portals, which was a terrifying experience. All except one, which I hope doesn't mess this up, but we will find that out shortly. So we are currently right at the highest point I can get to. This is 127. I'm standing on 125. So what we are going to do is we are going to put a ladder here, and we are going to enter pearl into this ladder, which will hopefully take us up to the roof. And I have found that it helps to continue pushing forward when you do this ender pearl so that you'll actually be able to glitch into the the uh, the layer above and get through. So here we go. And we did it. Well, that was easy. Sweet. Fantastic. All right. So now we need to figure out where to put our portals down. So I'm going to start with the village. And that should be the closest one. We need to be at negative 45, negative 16. I'm going the wrong way. So this way. And then negative 16 will be this way. All right. And 16. So 46. Nope, 45. 45. 16. This needs to be oriented east-west, and that's going to be the northernmost point. So I'm facing east, so this would be north, all right? So then I've got my obsidian, and we're going to put that there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Cover that over, and then I brought slabs to put on top so that we can spawn proof it. Alright, and if I did this correctly, we should end up in our village. Success! Oh, that makes me happy. And if we go back through, we should end up on the roof of the nether. afraid of that. Okay. Well. Always funny to see a magma cube jump off a cliff. Okay. That is a problem. I was afraid that this one might be too close. So this portal connects to our beacon mine. Um, and basically, it you know, it checks for... Um, you know, vertical distance and horizontal distance, and if it can find one closer that's not on the roof of the nether, it will take that. So what I need to do is I need to go and I need to move this considerably lower in the world, and then we will hopefully be able to try that again. So let me get this portal moved, and then we will try again. All right, I have moved the beacon mine portal to the bottom of the nether, so now hopefully this will connect us with the roof. Hey, hey, we got it. Fantastic. Excellent. All right, so now I should be able to go and link up all the rest of my portals. We should be in good shape, so let me get that done, and I will bring you guys back in a little bit. All of the portals are now linked up. This is our village here. I, I need to come back and um, make some markers so that I know which way I'm going and label all of these, but that's something I will do off camera. This is our base portal, and yeah, so this project is now done. It's now going to be much easier and much safer to get around the nether because we don't have to worry. No, no mobs can spawn on bedrock, so we are good to go. So that project is done. I've been wanting to do that for a little while just to make things easier to get around. So I got one more thing that I want to do today, and it's I kind of want to work on finishing up the grounds around here. And I don't know, I don't know how far we're going to get with that project. I need to, I need to do something with the edge. I don't like the straight line, but I'm not quite sure what I want to do about that. So I need to think about it, and I want to build a, a very simple fence around the edge of it so that once we've spawned proof it, we don't have to worry about any mobs showing up in here. So I need to figure out that line. I need to do a little bit of terraforming over here. 
We still need a few more stone accents in this area, and then I want to get it lit up as well. And I'm just going to do that with sea lanterns and um, gray carpet, or I guess it's light gray carpet on top. So that's the first project, uh, for part of this project, and then we'll see, I'll see if I have time for any more once I get that done. Oh, and we're going to replace the glowstone here with some sea lanterns as well, because I've wanted to do that since I built this base, and now we have them, so we will get that done. So all of the ground around the base is done. I just went kind of with a free form along the edges, and then went around and got all of the sea lanterns in and covered by carpet. I haven't decided what I'm going to do with the sheep farm just yet. But yeah, this is all done. Got all the land around it terraformed. And I decided along the river edges to just basically bring it up one block so that nothing can get out of the river. I figured that would be the easiest way to make it safe. But I have gone through, I haven't actually checked at night to see if it's completely spawn proof, but I was pretty liberal with my sea lantern. So I think we're probably going to be okay. So now I want to get a wall built up around the edges and I've been working around with a design in creative and this is what I have come up with. I actually want to switch these around there. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do, um, uh, the, the stone slab as pillars, and then we're going to do polished andesite, and we're going to do three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we'll go ahead and put these in here, and then I forgot one item that I'm going to need, but then we're going to do the dark prismarine stairs along here, like that, and then on top of this, we are going to alternate, let's see, I might need to get up there to do this. And so then on top, I'm going to, if I can jump back up here, struggling, there we go. So then we're just going to alternate um, iron bars and end rods. And so that will just kind of give it some depth. It'll also give it some light. Um, yeah, and I lost my train of thought. <laughs> But yeah, so basically going with that, so this is what it's going to look like from the inside, and it's high enough that mobs can't get over, and then when you come to the outside, it looks like this, and I'm missing one item, and let's go see if I have any stone over here, because I'm going to, on the outside, put stone buttons just for a little bit of detail, so we'll go with that and then put that on but then basically just going to carry this all the way around carry it right to the water's edge um and then we can go and i forget which did i alternate these from i think i did them off of the end rods yeah so just that little bit of pop of color right there i do wonder and I was playing around with this some in creative, and I couldn't necessarily get anything I like, but I do wonder about the possibility of doing that. And that actually looks pretty good. How does it look from this side? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's much nicer. Yeah, okay. So, sometimes you just gotta walk away and think about things a little bit. But yeah, that looks good and then we'll just take that and I'll have to play around with it but yeah then it kind of it kind of fills that in a little bit yeah so that is what the wall is going to look like and I'm going to just extend that all the way around so let me get building and I will bring you back when that is done welcome back everyone and it is finished and I thought we would take a look at this at night just to just see how cool it looks everything is lit up hi creeper you ain't getting in here yep we got the wall all in place along here everything is well enough lit up that we have to don't have to worry about anything spawning nothing can get in except for what spawns on top of the base and that's a question for another day because obviously there's a skeleton friend up there 
So I have an idea, but it's something that I'm going to have to play around with. But that's a, that is a project for another day. But here is how everything looks, and I think it is looking absolutely fantastic. So I still have a little bit more that I want to do with the outside of this, but it is extremely late, and I have not one but two videos to edit tonight in order to be able to get them out. So I think we are going to wrap this video up here. I realized today as I was going through things that this episode is essentially my one year anniversary. I did the first episode of Orgle Craft on April 1st of 2019 and this is coming out on um, March 30th. So yeah, they, the episodes come out on Monday. So that's, that's kind of cool. We've made it to one year. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode today. If you did, please be sure to give it a like and share it with your friends. If you haven't already, I would encourage you to subscribe and make sure you click that little notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest posts. Be sure to follow me on social media and hope to see you streaming Wednesday nights at 930 Eastern. Thanks for watching. See you real soon.